Today we're in Winchester, Kentucky, which was founded in 1793. It's located where the Eastern Appalachians meet the bluegrass and showcases plenty of lush rolling landscapes and breathtaking rural beauty. It's also home to a new farm-friendly eatery and store. Gray's Market and Cafe strives to serve the community with fresh and local ingredients by creating Kentucky proud dishes from local farmers. So local in fact that they primarily offer products within a certain geographical radius of the restaurant. They focus on a true farm to fork experience through developing genuine relationships with each of their producers and by featuring Kentucky Proud products as the main ingredients in each of their dishes. Today we're going to learn more about a brand new market and cafe in Winchester and get a cooking lesson from a South African chef. But first, let's go inside and see what all the local farmers are buzzing about. So I'm here today with owner and executive chef Craig DeVillis at Gray's Market and Cafe. This is such a cute place. It's right here on the road and tell me a little bit about how it got started. Well, Laurentia and I, who was a sheep farmer, a Calibri sheep farm, um, we found this problem that there was always these excess cuts and we thought, well, why don't we start a place like where we could take um, from local farms and use these excess cuts and try and present them and sell them for these farmers in the local area and so on. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. yeah, that's what's so wonderful. When I was doing a little little background research, I mean, you really have a huge amount of producers that you're working with. I mean, local farmers around here must be saying, hooray, <laughs> that you guys opened up because you really are working with the farmers and establishing these relationships. And Yes, it, it, it's awesome that we get to establish these relationships and we get to know each farmer and so on. And, and the fact that they are so close. I mean, uh, the farm that we're on right now is where we get our beef from, our grass-finished Red Devon beef. A um, couple miles up the road is Wholesome Living, where we get our pork from, and, and even just a couple more miles is where we get our bison from. So, yeah. a, as well as local producers and so on, of vegetables and fruits and so on. And that's, that's pretty fresh. Yeah. I mean, that's just, you know, yeah. a couple miles in the truck. That's pretty fresh Absolutely. stuff you're working with. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah, tell me about this. This is on a farm. There's a little bit of history about this place. Yes, this is an old uh, post office, and, and this railway used to come right past the post office. And in fact, the barn at the back is where they uh, invented the bluegrass cedar. And this, this, this farm has been in the family for since the 1700s. So all the bluegrass and all the, the mail used to come through this, through, through this station right here. That's wonderful. Yeah. So you're preserving this building in Absolutely. addition to working with the local farmers. Absolutely. And, and, and we want to keep up with the history and so on. You know. We try to upcycle everything and, and with our tables even, that's all recycled wood. There's a, a bench right here is made from one of the salvaged uh, wild turkey distillery barns that burnt down. You know, oh, so wow. and even the beams and so on inside, yeah, it's all from the barn out back and you know. It's got a lot of history. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and what's great is you're doing both things. I mean, people can come and they can get your expertise on how to make this and can eat here, but there's also a market so they can take some of this home too. Absolutely. And we, I'll, I'll gladly show anybody how to cook it. There's no secrets in the kitchen and so on. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those, oh, it's a family secret kind of deal <laughs> at all, you know, so, you know, they can watch me make it and then I can show them how to make it. You know. Well, that's great. The, the, that's what's so nice about this space is that there really is that intimate feel and so they really get to see you. I never trust it when I can't watch somebody <laughs> cooking my food, so I always love it when you can actually see them and relate with them and you can talk to customers. And uh, absolutely. Yeah, and we get a lot of the time that, that people say it's like eating at somebody's house and we're trying, we trying to provide, you know, try and give that vibe off and so on and it, it stems back to when growing up catering for certain clients in our own house you know that's how I grew up and we used to cook for for clients and on safaris and so on in South Africa and, and I'm just kind of purveying what I grew up doing you know sure. and so, and so. well and tell me about the radius I know you were saying earlier I mean people talk about going local but sometimes it's regional or sometimes it's just in the United States, but you literally are in with like what a five mile radius or something. Yeah, we, uh, most of our, most of our stuff comes within Cl in Clark County, and um, which is a great thing. So it's developing not 
I mean, obviously the whole of Qatar, but, but more around where we are and, and, and trying to be part of the, the neighborhood, you know, and, and, and so on and try and get the money back into the, the area. Absolutely, you that's know, wonderful. So. This new Winchester Market and Cafe prides itself on the strong partnerships made with local farmers and their products are truly center stage. They work closely with a number of local farms that have a wonderful range of diversity. Most of Gray's Market and Cafe's products are grown just within a few miles from the store's location, and some even closer than that. The Webb Brothers are known for their cucumbers, heirloom tomatoes, and cantaloupe, and it's all grown on the very same farm that the restaurant is located on. Crooked Row Farm is a local produce farm specializing in rare heirloom varieties, and it's located just within a couple miles from the restaurant. And Gilkison Farm, which produces corn, soybeans, wheat, rye, and black raspberries. They also work with a great mix of meat producers. A three-generation cattle farm, Brookview Farm, utilizes rotational grazing and feeds their livestock only grass and hay. Calibri Sheep Farm raises breeds known for exceptional meat quality and flavor. Blackfish Bison Ranch provides free-range, antibiotic and hormone-free, USDA-approved bison. They also work with a producer of multi-species. Wholesome Living Farm raises grass-fed beef, pork, and poultry. Coming up, we see how some of these fine products are incorporated into delicious dishes. Today we're in Winchester, Kentucky at a brand new farm-friendly eatery. Gray's Market and Cafe has hyper-local relationships with farmers, many within just a five-mile radius. It doesn't get much fresher than that. Owner and chef Craig Davilius knows a thing or two about fresh food. Growing up in South Africa, he attributes his culinary style to both traditional and creative techniques. He honed his traditional skills with his mother and grandmother and the creative skills he learned on South Africa's most premier game reserves. He was initially drawn to Kentucky because of its thoroughbred industry, but also loves the availability of all the local farms, which allows him to create new takes on farm fresh favorites. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your background. I know you're from South Africa, so that probably gives you a unique perspective. Yeah, um, I grew up on game reserves out in South Africa where they had, um, had um, there was hotels and lodging and so on and so forth. And we actually had chefs over there as well. But where I learned most of my cooking is definitely from my mother and my grandparents, uh, my grandmothers. Um, my one grandmother owned a bakery and my other, my other grandmother who was a teacher her and I would sit there and watch BBC Food. You know, it's a lot, of, a lot more of a European influence on in my life. And my favorite, my favorite um, chefs are European, like Ainsley Harriet and Jamie Oliver, and so on. Oh, yeah. um, so that's that's kind of where I got my food background and so on. So you have kind of more traditional from them, but then you were. I know I read somewhere that you have kind of this creative a technique too from the game reserve. I like to play, and I like to use a lot of venison. Um, I re which is short supply here compared to what I grew up with. Um, but, you know, I think it's, it's, all, it's all about being, I'm, I'm a self-taught chef and it was all about playing and, and just enjoying it and actually loving it. And, and I think that's what made me a, the chef that I am today. So, yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about um, some of the past dishes that you've had, maybe some standouts or some ones that that you've been really proud of. I mean, I know some of it is really um, dependent upon what supply you get. I mean, yeah. what people are bringing in. Absolutely, and that with the chalkboard menu, I mean, we get to change it two, <laughs> two, three times a day at least, and and we've got some staples, but it changes all the time. And I know one of our favorites here is obviously the lamb burger, which is, you know, and the the, the uh, obviously for dinners is our ribeyes, and. Um, you know, I'd definitely say our lamb burger stands up, you know, or above the rest, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's always like a, an episode of Chopped, like you just get this basket of stuff. <laughs> it's exactly. It's just throughout it's the day, like, what are you going to make? So. It's exactly like <laughs> It is like that. And, and especially working with these farmers, the, the, the fruit and veg farmers, and they, they are just going to deliver a box, and then that's what I'm going to have to make. And, and that's the fun part about it, you know. Sure. So, 
and if I run out of it, I scratch it off the chalkboard. And I'm sorry, that's, it's supply and demand, and that's what it is. Right. You know? So. That's great. I did a CSA one summer and um, it is really hard to just get a box of stuff and figure out what to do with it. So I think that develops you as a chef. Yeah, yeah. I commend you for that. <laughs> well, I'm excited to get in the kitchen. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> because local farm fresh ingredients are the real stars here, they never know what dishes are waiting to be created until they get their deliveries. So in order to make the most of these in-season ingredients, there is no set menu at Gray's. They have four or five options that can change from day to day, depending upon the mood of Chef Craig. Tuesday through Friday, they offer a lunch and dinner, and Saturdays, they offer brunch and dinner. Past menu options have included Calibri lamb belly with shrimp ravioli, elk rack with foie gras and black raspberry compote, skillet hash and breakfast pita, blackfish farm bison burger, wholesome living pork chop with green beans and chili sauce, and Calibri lamb burger with sautéed balsamic tomatoes. They also use lots of fresh pasta from our friends Les Me and Ricardo at Lexington Pasta. Today we're going to learn how to make one of Chef Craig's specialties. So I'm in the kitchen with Craig here and uh, he is going to make some lamb curry. But really before we get started, you did a neat kind of trick over here with the garlic, which I'm totally doing at home. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I added some salt to the garlic before I, I chopped it and it stops it from sticking to everything and to your fingers really. And you know, it may mess up your seasoning a little bit, but very minute. So, yeah, I love that it was yeah. so soft too. It was, seemed yeah. like it was easier to even chop. Than yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. It doesn't stick all to your knife or anything like that. And it's just something I've picked up and learned over the, the years. And so, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely employing that tip. That's awesome. <laughs> well, tell me about some of the steps here. Okay, well, we've, we've got to do a lamb shoulder. It's a lamb shoulder curry. I trimmed up the shoulder this morning. Um, with my curries, I'm using a sweet curry. Um, with coriander blend, um, some onions, garlic, and um, some coconut milk with some stock. Um, first of all, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with obviously just searing and browning my, my lamb. Okay. I'm just going to season it a little bit with some kosher salt. I use a blend of kosher salt and some Hawaiian salt, uh, pink salt. So, And then I also use bourbon smoked black pepper. Is that from bourbon bourbon uh, bourbon barrels? Yeah. The smoke of bourbon barrels. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great. So I'm just gonna kind of bacon fat. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is add some bananas to that some coconut. Those are uh, it's a pepper dew. It's native to South Africa. Gray's Market and Cafe thinks both locally and globally. Their dishes reflect their local reach, but their freshly brewed coffee reflects their global reach. They work with Try for Freedom to get fair trade coffee direct from South America. It's all roasted right here in Winchester, Kentucky through Creative Roastery. Try for Freedom is a nonprofit organization and advocates for victims of human trafficking. They also work closely with Jim Walters from Positively Java in Richmond, Kentucky. Positively Java supports a myriad of charities like Lifeline Children's Services, Kentucky Haiti Partnership, Foster Care Council of Lexington, and Kids First. So when you drink this coffee, you can feel good about the charities you're supporting. Not only are you helping to support local farmers and worthwhile charities when you dine at Gray's Market and Cafe, but you get a delicious and innovative meal to boot. Make sure and add it to your local traveler's list.